floss tube. Um, I hope everybody's doing okay. I wanted to record a separate video for um, what I'm going to talk about because there's a lot of haul and I know some people don't like to watch a lot of haul and my update video for January and February since it was two months there was quite a bit of haul so I wanted to go ahead and split these off and kind of talk about this whole thing as a separate video. Um, this, um, I'm not sure if anybody knows or not, uh, probably a lot of people know, um, this past weekend there was the Nashville Needlework Market Show here in Nashville. And, um, it is, um, only for wholesaler and designers to go and, um, and retail stores to go and check out what's new, um, buy new patterns for their stores and for their customers, um, not just anybody gets to go. Um, a friend of mine is actually a designer, and so she um, got to go to the event, and she took me with her for one of the days. So that was an awesome experience. I don't know if this is something I'll ever get to do again. It was kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing to go to this big market. It was a really cool experience. They were in a hotel that had a main atrium all the way down, and then the rooms were all suites, and so they're set up in a round on four floors of the hotel and so you go to like the second floor and you go from room to room to room all the way around the hotel and it's all cross stitch quilting and needlework stores I think there I didn't see any knitting but it was all needlework um, designers and sellers just all the way around the hotel and they had four floors of that and so they had two three four and six and so you move all the way around and you go into the stores and they have everything's wholesale price so it's awesome deals you get to see the new designs you get to purchase the new designs some of these stores you got to see um like if they do full month full year long designs where they release each part or they release one little design and it's kind of this big overall theme you got to see all of the months because they already had them stitched up you weren't allowed to take pictures because they didn't want you giving that away but you got to see a lot it was awesome you got to see some designs get some awesome deals meet designers um, it was really cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about the things that I bought for myself. I'm also going to throw in, um, a couple of things that I bought for Amanda. Um, I had another friend who asked me to be on the lookout for one or two things for her. And, um, I already have those packaged up on the front porch ready to be picked up by, um, postal service today. So I can't show you those, but the couple of things I got for Amanda, the couple of things I got for myself, I'm going to show you as well. First place, um, First thing I'm going to show you is um, went to Ink Circles, and um, I found a couple of really cute designs there that I liked. But one of them um, that I was really drawn towards has the exact same colors as Justin and Snowflowers, which if you saw um, my January February um, whip update that I am starting this month, so I didn't want to get the exact same colors all over again. So I decided not to get it. But first thing I got was their coloring book. It has some cute designs in it. Decided to go ahead and get that. Um, I love to color. And this is really quality paper. Um, I always put like a piece of cardboard underneath. But there's not a lot of bleed through. I'll go to one that I started. And um, I use markers. But it's a thicker paper. The marker ink doesn't bleed through the lines into the next part of the design. Nice paper on this coloring book. I also got, I'm going to take this out of the sleeve, so I'm sorry if it takes me a minute to move through every product. Um, I also got Turtles All the Way Down, which is a super cute banner design with these little turtles they're all in shades of blues and greens and turquoises and it's adorable i saw it on the wall i immediately had to have it super cute um the right next to them was hands-on designs which i had never heard of i'd never heard of hand-on design before and i walked in there and everything was stupid cute great prices it was just adorable I couldn't resist myself I bought a lot so we'll go ahead and talk about the things that I bought there the first thing I got is this follow my heart counted canvas design so it's more like needlepoint but I'm gonna do it on linen 
and kind of treat it more like specialty stitches. How gorgeous is that? They had a model of this, sample of this, stitched up when I walked in the door, and this is the first thing I walked to. Gorgeous. It's a heart, pinks, and purples, and blues, and creams, and whites, and grays. Gorgeous. Fine. Got that. Um, next thing I was drawn to was actually something for Amanda. So I'm going to show that to you here. These are the little block parties. They're kind of like um, Biscornu's and pin cushions but they're a little bit more decorative and I got um, as you know I've said it before Amanda lives in the middle of nowhere on a farm raises sheep so I got this one with these cute little sheep on it oh I couldn't stand it and it's not a full kit it comes with the fabric for the top where you put the pins um, it's not going to focus but there's four sides to it Every side has a different design. So cute. Little sheep. Got that for her. Um, the next... And I got the whole series of those blocks. Um, the next one I got... There's four in the series right now. The next one I got was Home. It's these little cottages. And I love these because the design, it starts on the bottom, on the side. So you have these little... These little houses all the way around all four corners super cute and then what I don't know if you can tell is here's where the side ends and here's the top and so the trees start here at the bottom and they go up this side and up to the top it's all this really pretty continuation and um, you can kind of see here on this picture if it'll focus how the trees come up to the top I think this is a great little design I love these little blocks, as you can see, because I bought the whole series. I think they're just gorgeous. I also got, sorry, I've been really sniffly. I have a cold, allergies, something. I also got um, Java, which is coffee cups all the way around, and then the steam continues up onto the top. I think there's spoons and sugar and creamer and things like that. I also got this for Amanda, and then I also threw this in as a little gift for a friend of mine who asked for a couple of extra. Be on the lookout. Cute. It comes, and it only comes with the fabric for on top for where you stick your pins. And then I think this one, I don't know if this one's released yet or not. Amanda was looking on their website and she said that it wasn't, but it's bees. It's called Buzz. Super cute. There's, everyone has this little honeycomb. And then you can kind of see there's the queen bee. The big one there on the side. And then the little worker bees over there. So cute. Can't get over it. I loved this, this little room. I went back there twice. That's how much I liked it. Next thing I got um, are also these little blocks. But then they have little I'll show you so it's the block and then it has this little base that you stitch that they sit in can't get over it and then this one the design starts on the on the side it goes to the top but then it also you can't I don't know if you can tell but it's also on the base as well so this one all of the sides are decorated this little box decorated all around I don't know if that's decorated on the bottom I didn't pick it up and look super cute and then I also got the mini one which is kind of a beachy theme and the little base all the way around says stitching by the sea is where I long to be and all of these little buttons the pins are done by just another button company that you can buy separate. So cute. And then another thing coming out this year is um, it's done in collaboration with looks like Squareology and then also just another button company is um, kind of like their chalkboard, which is what I think they did last year. 
all of their yearly designs were kind of this decorative chalkboard design, which is really popular right now, this kind of chalkboard art um, that you see everywhere. Um, this one is called A Moment in Chalk. Um, so this one is just the center design. I'll show you the main design on the back. But it says, each moment of the year has its own beauty. It came with the buttons. And then here, I don't know if you can tell, but there's going to be a design for each month of the year that goes all the way around. And I didn't really know, I didn't buy, they had the first three months there, but I didn't know if I was actually going to stitch something that big. So I just got the center and I think I've decided I'm just going to do the center, probably finish it off as some kind of standing cube or a um, bifold. Gorgeous. And I love that it, it really does look like chalkboard art that you see right now. Beautiful. Next store. Oh, and then there was also this little fan, which it's hot up here. It just says to the beach. I'm going to hold it back so you can't see it. It kind of says there's, oh, it won't focus, but to the beach. It was a little freebie they were holding out. And it's hot in here, and it was hot in that hotel with everybody there and moving around. Next um, kind of room I stopped into was hand-dyed um, fabrics by Stephanie, and it was actually Stephanie there. Uh, I went on Sunday, and Market opened, I think, on Friday night or Saturday night. She was really picked over. She did not have a lot left, but I did get this beautiful 32-count linen in slate, and I got half a yard of it for a steal. I might as well have just stolen this. But look at that. It reminds me of NYX, which is the fabric of the month for Under the Sea Fabrics last year. But this is more deep teal and kind of a lighter teal. Gorgeous. And while I was there, she had a, um, a color that was a fabric of the month before I signed up. Um, that I got to take a look at in person and now that I know that I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and order it It was gorgeous. It's um, Cersei um, But I thought that was a gorgeous fabric. Um, the person I went with said that this would be a great color to do this chalkboard on But I really want it to look more like it's on actual chalkboard. So I'm not going to do that I don't know We'll see. But if I did decide to do the full design, this would fit it. I don't have anything this big in my fabric stash. Half a yard never happens. So expensive. Usually just order Stitcher Fat Quarter or what I need. I don't really have nothing. I have nothing that big. Gorgeous. Okay, so next up is Glendon Place was there as well. And this is one of their new designs. It hadn't even been released yet. It was premiering there at the the National Needlework Show market. And this is called Simply Love. I loved going into this room. She had so many things stitched up that were beautiful. And this was new. She had a whole bunch of really pretty new stuff. But I thought that was really gorgeous. Loved the colors. I also got the embellishment kit. Gorgeous. And of course, right next door to Glendon Place is Dinky Dyes. So I got the thread kit for Simply Love by Dinky Dyes. I think there's 11. about 10. This only cost me $20 for all silk skeins. $20. You can't beat that anywhere. I'm so happy I got to go. So thank you. person who took me, she knows who she is. Um, I also, while I was there, I got the thread pack for tiramisu, which as you saw in my December update video, um, my not so secret Santa partner got me. So I got all of that. And then I have one more thing to show. 
I think. Oh, for Amanda, I got her the little sheep. I got her the Java. And then I also got her Simply Love. She saw that and she wanted that. This next thing I got is a pattern for Hardanger. It's called Homestead Blooms. There's four of them to be done in like a lavender, kind of a teal, a blue, and like a pinkish red. I've never done Hardanger before. I love the look of it, but it's frightening. But while we were in there, um, she kind of gave us some tips on, um, I mean, she, she, at one point she said, do you know how to thread a needle? Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know how to thread a needle. Well, guess what? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know how to thread a needle like she threaded it. She also gave us tips on, you know, what side to cut on, how to start and end your threads so that they're not so obvious and um you know what count fabric to use um what size she's she was saying that a pearl cotton she was giving us tips on what color to use if you were doing white on white like what color what shade of white to use um so that it, it kind of stands out more or does it, it she was a lovely woman i didn't i think her name was donna i'm judging that off of the fact that that's the copyright on it um, she was a lovely woman. She was really nice to show us a couple things while we were in there. But, um, that's what I got. This was an amazing chance and opportunity. And I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to do this again. And I kind of went a little bit overboard. I stayed under budget. Technically, I stayed under budget. But, um, <laughs> um, I don't know that I'll ever get to do something like this again. So I went a little overboard um, because, I mean, this, I probably got over $300 worth of stuff if I had bought it retail. That's not anywhere close to what I spent. Not at all. So, amazing opportunity. Don't know if I'll ever get to do something like this again. The show happens every year, but, I mean, can you imagine? I mean, I'm not a wholesaler. I'm not a designer. I don't work in retail. I'll never really, unless I stay, stay super in touch with that person, um, which I want to. She's cool and awesome, and I love talking to her, um, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, they, I don't know if I'll ever get an opportunity to do something like this again. So it was a lot of fun. It was great to meet the designers. I mean, I got to meet the designer, um, Cheryl, from Glendon Place. I, we were talking to her for a while and um, got to meet the designer for Hands On. Um, it, it was amazing. I can't really say anything else besides that. We were there for about three hours. No. Yeah, about three, three and a half hours. Going from floor to floor. We went back to floors. I went into a hell of a lot of more stores than what I showed you. So, um, because we were going on Sunday, a lot of places were sold out of the new designs already. It was great. I can't say anything else besides that. Um, if anybody ever gets the opportunity to go, jump on it. Do it. Yes, definitely. Uh, so that's all I have to say. Uh, I said a lot between my two videos I just recorded today. So I hope that everybody has a great month. Check out um, my January, February whip update. If you haven't already, I'll try to put right here a link to it if I can figure out how to do that. Otherwise, I hope everybody is doing great, that you're enjoying all of your projects that you're working on, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.